To quickly select objects for editing, I can click on them when I have no command active and their grips will, sh will light up. I can select objects by clicking on them individually. I can select them by using a window. I can select them by using a crossing window. Um, I can remove objects from the selection set by holding down the shift button and clicking on the individual object or holding down the shift and using a window. Once the grips are activated, uh, in their unselected state they're blue. If I hover over a grip, it will give me information about the object. In this case, uh, you can see that it's changed color and become a hover grip. Uh, the color depends on your setting. It could be green or it could be pink. And here it's telling me the radius of this circle. If I select this line, if I hover, it's going to tell me the length of the line and the angle that the line's drawn at. Here it's telling me the uh, radius of this arc and its angle. In the case of a polygon, it's telling me the length of the sides and so on. So you can gain information by using hover grips. You just hold the mouse over the, the blue grip and the information will pop up. Using selected grips allows me to dynamically edit objects. Uh, clicking on the object, the blue unselected grips show up. I can click on one of those grips and you notice the color changes to red which indicates that it's selected or a hot grip and now it gives me some editing. It's turned into a stretch command. I can see down here on the command line. And I can change the overall uh, radius of this circle uh, by entering information in the box right now given to me by dynamic input. Um, the original size of this circle was, uh, was 4, so I'm going to change it to 5 and hit enter. And now I have a circle that's 5 inch radius. I'm going to click on it again and this time I want you to notice that if I use the tab key I can change to my stretch input and this is the amount that I want this to change. So I'm going to go down smaller here and enter 1. I'm going to make this uh, change the size of the circle by 1 inch. So now I'm back to a 4 inch circle. Let's look at how this works on a line command. Here I have activated this line, the grips, I click, and you see that I have a, a stretch distance that I can enter right now. If I wanted this line to be one inch longer, I can enter one, and now the line is, has increased in size by one inch along the same angle vector. I'm going to click on it again, and I'm going to tab over, and I can increase the overall length of the line. So in this case, I'm going to say 10. And notice that when I'm working with the overall length, I now can work with the angle. I'm going to tab to the angle box and say that I would like this to be at 100 degrees. When I hit enter, I've changed this, the length of the line and the angle of the line. With a arc, when I activate, I'm not able to, uh, to specify the exact information, but I can uh, move that arc and snap it to another point. If I've selected an object and I have a hot grip active, I can turn off that hot grip by using the escape command. To turn off the blue grips, I hit escape again. So to completely deactivate uh, or cancel editing by grips, you hit the escape key twice. When using grip editing, I have other uh, modify commands that I can activate by right-clicking the, the mouse. Uh, you can see your, this pop-up menu of modify tools that are available for use with grips. So you can erase, move, copy, uh, scale, or rotate. So if I choose rotate, specify a base point, I specify my base point, and I'm able to rotate. 
30 degrees. Now this type of operation uh, is referred to in AutoCAD as being a noun verb uh, action set. And what that means is that it allows me to pick the object, the noun, first, and then select the verb or the action that I'm going to take on the object. The options for how um, grip editing and selection is set up in AutoCAD can be found on the options menu. And if you go to selection, you can see that you can change the colors that are used for the grips, the grip size, the pick box size, and you can see that by default noun verb selection is turned on. If you were to turn that off you would not be able to select objects first before selecting the command that you wanted to activate.